Cow. No. Turn it. Remember where the camera is, Cow. Correct. It didn't go so well from there. <laughs> Vanilla Coke Zero. It's delicious and refreshing. <clears throat> oh, also, Schlafly, if you want to mm -hmm. get in on this. <sighs> and by this, I mean just like be a totally normal part of our routine mm -hmm. that we do. Mm -hmm. I totally have it out of place. Yep. Oh, it's ridiculous that I have. I got all of them. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the 69th episode of Good, Bad, or Bad, Bad, show we watch terrible movies and tell you if you should too. I'm your host, Mr. Brian Chiligo. It's the first uh, episode of the year, and my other host, enjoying delicious McDonald's fries. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kyle Hampton. Um, Kyle? Nah, um, this is what our set normally looks like. Oh yeah, no, totally, totally. Uh, we totally. usually do eat mm -hmm. on an episode mm -hmm. and drink lots of delicious... With everything... Coke products. Everything turned towards the camera. Yeah. Make sure that M is mm. nice and blue. It's Skittles. Get those Skittles in there. Yep, yep. I would literally die if I didn't eat and drink these things. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing Mac and me in here. It's a 1988 film directed by some fucker uh, starring a bunch of people who are never in anything else. And for the record, the only reason that a lot of people would know Mac and me is Paul thanks Rudd. to one Paul Rudd. No. <laughs> Let's show this clip from the final episode of Friends. So, this is going to get really obnoxious for people. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't not eat a whole thing it's of fries. Fr it's french fries. It's McDonald's french fries. They're not even quite cold yet. No. <laughs> they're still a little they're, bit of warmth. They're warm. still edible. Yeah. I was serious, by the way, Schlafly. If you want to sponsor us, I'm oh, yeah. down for that. Um, I don't drink, but if, <laughs> I, if you want to get Brian hammered, that's entertaining. It'd be great. Uh, so, Mac and Me, 1988 film. Kyle, what is this movie? The greatest E.T. ripoff that was entirely paid for by it, product placements. Yes. What's in here? It, yeah, this, this movie's E.T., but, like, crazy and terrible. <laughs> yes. Move away from it! Step away from it! They're not gonna hurt you! Move it! Michael, Move please. it! Come on! They don't understand they're not gonna hurt anyone! Give me the gun! So, it's about an alien who doesn't have a name, but then does, which we'll talk about. Uh, <laughs> we'll fucking talk about it, Kyle! We'll get there. Um... <laughs> Uh, called uh, eventually Mac. Um, so the opening of this film, uh, we start on Mars. At mm -hmm. least I, I don't know if it ever says specifically whatever. that it's Mars, but I'm assuming whatever it's Mars. Whatever place it is, they have naturally occurring Coca-Cola products. Okay. That it's in the ground. <laughs> okay. First things first, where the fuck did that alien get a straw, I Kyle? Know, I know, he just made a, he just has a straw and then sucks Coca-Cola out of the ground. normal straw. You know, you know what, I I, th I don't think they came from a distant planet. I think they came from, like, the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia, where yeah. Coca-Cola is from. <laughs> or, or, no, yeah, <laughs> something. Because it's, and, that, and then, because uh, later they're like, this must be this delicious, refreshing Coca-Cola must be like what they have from their home planet. This must be like what they drink on their own planet. And I was like, on Mars? Mars runneth over with Coca-Cola products? What? With with uh, corn syrup, a sweetened... Uh, well, that's the secret recipe, man. Apparently, man. Uh, apparently the secret recipe is from Mars. I mean, there may be, there's, maybe there's some deep, like, backstory there about how Coca-Cola originally obtained the Coke recipe. But, uh, so they're drinking Coca-Cola, slurping it out of the Earth. Uh, and let's talk about these aliens. Holy crap, they look horrifying. They're terrifying. <laughs> My favorite thing is how the adult ones, and I have to do this, they walk just so you can, like, like this. <laughs> they crotch first, swing their arms like this. It's 
one. And I don't know whose choice that was, but it's my favorite thing about these aliens. <laughs> Is the crotch first womp, like, they, I don't. <laughs> You're welcome, Kyle. Yes. And Thank all you. of you at home. Cheers. It is the 69th episode. <laughs> yeah, they walk terrifyingly. They look terrifying. On this first... Th well, actually, it happens later. But their their costumes fall apart. There's shots later where yes. they're walking through the desert and their knees are clearly visible. Like, the human knees are mm -hmm. clearly visible because they're just falling apart. <laughs> it's... <laughs> and then and then also, like... Like I get, cause there's, it's. I'll, I'll admit this at the beginning here. It's been a really long time since I've seen ET. Like I was a little kid. I don't mm -hmm. remember much of like the details of the film. I know the general overarching plot and and that sort of thing. Now, now, I, have, I, have a, I have a quick question. Yeah. So ET, they use Reese's pieces to get ET yeah. to lure to do out. things. Yeah. Do you think move. that they went to Skittles saying? You know, they, they had, you know, Reese's pieces was an ET. It was a big hit. Yeah. People bought Reese's. Yeah. If you get a Skittles. Bank. Yeah. Same thing with all of this. Same thing with Coke and McDonald's. They had to be like, we're making the next ET. On top of that, it's going to be a fucking series based on how oh, this yeah. movie ends. Oh, God. Think about the money. That's how they went to these people. You get to be the next Reese's Pieces in the next ET. And they were like, but where do I sign the dotted line? And then they went and made this atrocity. <laughs> <laughs> so they're they're on Mars, uh, sucking up water, uh, or Coca Cola apparently. Uh, and then the, a, a lander, a a NASA lander, comes and poof, sets down on Mars, and they go to investigate. Which, which has cameras and stuff. But yeah, doesn't but have I, any it, kind of. It's speed. short. They short circuit it like immediately. I yeah. think is the idea is that they touch the camera and it like immediately short circuits, and then that's why they don't see them yeah. or anything like that. <laughs> Explain this to me. So these things, is, as far as we can tell, are the humanoid-like mm. creatures. Mm. Uh, apparently made of... Of... Plastic or something? Of, like, rubber... Yeah, like latex. That can, that can compress to infinitesimally small sizes mm -hmm. and bend. And they have no internal no, organs or structure, or structure... at all. Yeah. At all. That's what it feels like because they get so the, the the reason they end up on Earth is they get vacuumed up mm -hmm. by this Mars lander and sucked into its like its holding tank uh, that I assume it was just taking like an air sample or something like that. And so that's how they end up on. But I was like, wait a second. So these things, they just got vet. Okay. You don't like purple ones, Kyle? What? Nobody's gonna see that. Ky Kyle just set purple skit. You know because they taste better. And I was leaving them for later, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. asshole. <laughs> you know it's probably a great combo: Skittles and uh, fries. Oh god! You got the salty Look, and the sweet you know together. What? You know what? Yeah. Go ahead and get a little bit of both that action. There you go. Save those purple ones. Check it out. <laughs> Many of you have like a, an eating fetish. Mm. It's gonna be a great episode for you. <laughs> How is it, Kyle? <laughs> How you doing over there? We good? Wash it down a little bit of that Coke. How'd that, how'd that go down? Smooth. <laughs> Smooth. That was, a, that was a mistake. Well, you're not supposed to inhale them, Kyle. You're supposed to chew them first. Uh, so we also learned at this point that their language is whistling. They basically just whistle, which I assume, I assume is because they built the creatures and they built them with a circular You mean an mouth. anus mouth? And anus mouth. They have a butthole mouth. They built them that way and then go, well, the only thing that can come out of that mouth is whistling because <laughs> obviously <laughs> like, that's the only thing that fucking makes sense. Yeah. So they just whistle everything. Mm -hmm.
So then the lander takes off, flies back to Earth, which first, I mean, not to get into it, but the, that's not how a lander wor- would work. It would leave behind yeah. most of the components and just part of it would separate and fly away because that's uh, the, and the, uh, the physics in this movie, let's just say. Don't add. <laughs> NASA, if you're looking for extra help in your programs, Brian's available. I'm definitely available. Um, but I mean, that I, I only know that that's how they work because that's how every lander in oh, the history right. of NASA has ever worked. The whole thing, that I'm probably I'm doing myself by saying everyone, but generally speaking, they all leave behind most of it and then take They like, it doesn't need the legs it landed on. Leave those behind. Mm-hmm. That's extra weight you don't need. Fuck that. It takes off, flies back to Earth. They re- recover it on Earth. Mm. And I gotta say, as far as as far as production value, this first concerned, part's not too bad. It's not too, especially the, all of the NASA part, not terrible. Not too bad. No, no, no. yeah, the, they definitely blew a lot of their money at the beginning. The creatures look ridiculous. Oh yeah, but they're not like terribly made. Like they move kind of. In, they move a combination of like interesting mm. and okay and like stupid and hilarious yeah. where they like wobble around like their heads like aren't on all the way so they like 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 a fucking jack in the box or something <laughs> but like they also have a fair amount of animatronics in like the face and stuff that mm. make them like move around and they look they're like this weird hybrid of terrible I, and pretty good. <laughs> I would like to know what conditions on that planet led them to adapt to evolve to that particular Oh, structure. it makes no sense because we're assuming this is Mars and yeah, they have giant <laughs> eyeballs that are just like... With, with the massive dust storms that yeah, happen there yeah, yeah, the Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It seems like that's a bad evolutionary design, but whatever, sure. We'll allow it. Or because... even that, it's a barren wasteland. Like yeah. there's, there's nothing there. Literally nothing. And so the idea that they need to, I guess, I, the only the only thing they would effectively need is fingers to for re- the straws. Operate their straws. <laughs> and a butthole mouth to wrap around it. <laughs> That's all they need. Um, and the lander also looks pretty good. I thought the lander looked pretty good. Like eh, it looks fairly mu- fairly like a, a NASA lander. Um, and it like does little arms and stuff. It's kind of cool. Um, and and I love when it land or when they're they're like taking the stuff off and getting the samples off. One of the one of the scientists is talking to the the head guy, and he's like, "We still have that weight discrepancy." The gross weight discrepancy still there. Recheck the pre stat. I've given it the auto test. I've given it the manual test. It's, it's still there. All right. That that mass discrepancy is off, and I'm like, okay. Which also. No, it, it would not have well, made it back. No, it would not have made it back at all. If there's the mass of four giant aliens on your ship unaccounted for, guess what? You don't have nearly enough fuel to get back. Exactly. All that shit is calculated down to like, you know, within uh, ounces or whatever. Uh, and then, so the, I love, they open up the thing and the puppet comes out in a hiss of smoke and starts sprinting around the room. Like, and the big one, my favorite shot of this, the big one comes out and whoop, up against the and glass. Breaks and it breaks like it. a crazy person? <laughs> yeah. It was like boom, and I love this whole time. These scientists have almost no reaction, or at least the main scientist has like zero reaction. That's an alien. To aliens. I'm okay with this. Yeah, I was like, fucking an alien just came out of your spaceship and is running around your lab, and you're like, this is interesting. This is. Kind of cool. He's like, uh, stay back, guys. Let, let's see what they do. Stay back. Stay away from them. It's kind of interesting. It's like, Jesus Christ. As the aliens are escaping, right? Yes. We have an entire, the entire military force they had there at the base. Yeah. Descending upon them. Yeah, they go chase them. What happens? Uh, he runs. They just get away. They just get they away. Just get away. Mm-hmm. Three of them somehow end up in the desert, and then yeah, I don't know how that yes. happens. I mean, yes. I, I assume it's at like every some, time they cut to them, I'm like, they're just they're just dying in the yeah, desert. I assume the idea is it's at some lab in like Nevada or California. I don't know where they're supposed to be because mm-hmm. I don't think they ever really say. Um, so there's somewhere where there would be a desert nearby. I buy that, but like. Uh, <laughs> Or maybe like in Texas, who knows? But so they're in the desert. But then the other one runs out in the street, causes a multiple car pileup. Yeah. Mac does. Good <laughs> Fucking- Lord.
he gets he ends up in the car of our main characters. Yes. And uh, this is where we Which, get our first product. Not only that, not only that, the Cubs. Oh yeah, the Cubs because it's they're from Chicago. They're moving yeah. from Chicago we, 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 or we, Illinois. We saw that, and uh, my my first thought was, oh no, that poor kid. That poor kid. Not because he's in a wheelchair, because he's a fucking Cubs fan. So he steals their his, their coke with a big rubbery stretch Armstrong arm. Wonder what they were looking for. Omelets with eyes. Uh, and starts sipping on the coke because again, apparently they have coke on mm-hmm. Mars, and, and they can only drink it through a straw. Yes, that's, that's another thing. Yeah, because you can't if you if you I can't do it because I'll spill soda everywhere. But if you have that little butthole mouth and you try to pour soda into it, it's just blah, 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 blah. or they, either a straw or a funnel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can funnel it in. You fu- or a high pressure stream, you know, like a garden hose of coke. You can spray it right <laughs> it's in. Like, there. It's like the carnival game. <laughs> There's gotta be out there a Mac, Mac and Me carnival yes. game where you shoot Coca-Cola in. <laughs> How is that not a thing? Oh, you can't tell me that if, wasn't if, a fucking if, thing. If Mac and Me had taken off, yes, you would have seen that everywhere. Absolutely would have been a fucking thing. Holy shit. So they're, uh, this new this family is moving from Illinois to California uh, because the dad died. Mm. I assume that's the reason. It sounds like his dad died and they're kind of going for a fresh start. Mm. In California. Hey, look at all the cars. This looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. And the mom, this is, this is her first job in over a decade. Yeah, she got a job because she, she didn't work because his, uh, his yep. dad was making enough money or whatever, yeah. I guess. Um, and so she got a job at Sears. I'm not ready for this. Mom, relax. You've already got the job. You look great. In a mall, Sears in a mall, yes. which, whew, name a more uh, late 80s or 90s oh. thing than Sears in a mall. The only thing we were missing was, like, a Ventures. <laughs> yeah, a KB toy. Oh, <laughs> or wait, was it K? Yeah. Yeah, KB toy yeah, store. Yeah, KB toy. Which are still around. Are they really? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're very few, but I'm pretty sure they're still around. And then we run into, so we're introduced to, uh, when they get and arrive at their new home, we're introduced to the neighbor girl who's sitting in a, a TP with a raven like crow live crow sitting on top hey how's it going shh we're communing with the earth spirits I, I, and the whole joke is that she's like i'm communing with nature and they're like california hippies you know blah 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 that sort of thing and uh his dad was also michael mcdonald his dad was yama be there but he didn't because he died that's a michael mcdonald joke for four of you yama be there. I'm gonna try Skittles with beer. Oh god. <laughs> yep, that's terrible. All right. The level of destruction that this little thing has just yeah. done to this eventually house is insane. Oh, even yeah, even when they first show up, there's like tracked water all over and everything. But then there's some like nonsense where he's like turning TVs on and off and he's like standing right next to the kid and the kid is somehow unaware of this of this animal standing right yeah, next what? to him. Oh. Like literally right there like walking around. He doesn't even know it's there. So we also find out and set up because this is important for the scene that everybody has seen from this movie because of Paul Rudd. We see their backyard. Yes. Which is, it goes out about 75 yards, she says. And then she goes, that's our yard. And then we, re- I see at the end of the yard, there's like a, there's like an archway. Yes. yes. And I'm like. That's weird. Hey, weird, yeah. I was like, what is it beyond the archway? It, it's com- it's completely unkept, like, terrain. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is completely untouched by pretty yeah. much anybody. They basically live on a, almost a cliff. Like a gradual cliff, but a cliff. And I was like, when I saw that little archway, I was like, oh, wait a second. She goes, the first 75 yards ours. I was like, wait a second. Is what's beyond that the motherfucking cliff from the clip from the you Paul Rudd your scene? Ass it is. Because here's the thing that was wild to me. I'm like, you're the worst mother of a kid in a wheelchair ever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, she she sold the kid the home on that he can, yeah. there's no steps. Yeah. And he, he can see out of every yeah. window. Did you notice, my dear, that there is not one step in the entire place? Low counters, wide hallways, 
and you can see out of every window. Very, yeah, and I also, love, if you travel 100 feet that way, you will die. You'll die. <laughs> it's like this combination of incredibly considerate and like, oh, but also you may die. <laughs> like, we, we, we tailor this whole home around your needs, but unless you venture 100 feet that way. <laughs> don't go over there, though. Everything the light touches. <laughs> yeah. <in the> kingdom. <laughs> Everything the light touches is our kingdom. What about that shadowy place? That's beyond our borders. You must never go there. The alien starts crying because it misses its family, and I love it's just big, sappy plastic tears that it cries down its fucking yes. face. Uh, and they do their little whistle thing. And I love, too, that the gate is, like, the perfect size for his wheelchair to fit through, yes, which, is, which is even, even better. Even more, like, I know. She doesn't even put a fucking, like, kitty gate on it. She just leaves this perfect wheelchair-sized hole in the hedge. I was like, it just reads up, up top, abandon all hope. <laughs> no, she puts a sign up top that says, Eric, come check this out. <laughs> it's totally safe over here. Uh, and so this is it. Um, he, he, he's going to explore cause he's looking for the creature. Yeah. He thinks it's out there somewhere. And, uh, I think even in, the little girl after, says in this after it started destroying the house. Uh, maybe. Yeah. yeah, maybe. I can't remember. I gotta talk about how yeah, I think, it, I think it may have Takes been, yeah. a drill through the wall. Oh yeah. Cuts the front door with a yeah. buzzsaw. Like this thing's a little monster. Mon I, I feel like, what is its purpose there? We don't know what it's why it's doing any of that. Like even the in the weird part in the beginning before it does that, or no, when it does that, where it it brings all like the plants inside and like mm -hmm. sets up like a forest inside their house. Also Everything's ruined. It's totally ruined. It wasn't me, Mom. It's the little creature. I saw it. So this is it. Uh, he goes out looking for Mac, and he rolls through the gate of death, mm -hmm. the portal to hell. <laughs> Um, and uh, ends up flying down the hill, a dummy Bra in a his, wheelchair. His, his lever breaks. Breaks off. <laughs> uh, flies down the hill off a cliff into the lake or pond it's just or whatever. Some of the greatest dummy shots, shots ever. Oh. It's just so good. Fantastic dummy shots. Uh, and then, uh, so what's her name? The girl next door sees him and runs down. And it's like, ah, calls for help. And Mac hears. Uh, again, he's not known as Mac yet. <coughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then comes wobbling into frame and runs across the fucking <laughs> shot. Um, and, uh, and runs down and jumps into the water. And now explain this to me, Kyle. Why can an alien from fucking Mars swim? You know what they're famously they not on Mars? Water. Lakes, water of any sort. They have Coca-Cola underground. They have Coca-Cola <laughs> Coca wells. And the shot, I love the shot too when he dives in and it's like the little dummy Mac body yeah. sinking under the surface. It, just, it all looks so ridiculous. Uh, uh, it's so fantastic. And then, uh, so they, he saves him, kid's okay, uh, and he's talking to the doctor or whatever. And we're introduced also at this point to the, other, the, 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 the little girl's neighbor's sister mm -hmm. and i don't remember her name but she works for mcdonald's baby home of america's favorite mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we were really cold now. they're cold now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't want them mm -hmm. they'll eat them because mm -hmm. they're covered in a sauce and i hate my heart it's mcdonald's huh yeah why don't you stop by for a big man it's go he wants to go talk to the neighbor at McDonald's sometime, the older brother. We never introduced the older brother. There's an older brother. He wants to fuck the neighbor. So this is when I realized, oh, we're going to spend some time 
At McDonald's. Mm-hmm. With, oh, get, getting Big Macs, your... as we're told. <laughs> you went to town on those fries. Goddamn right I did. He's trying to lure the Mac in, so he starts setting up trap cups of Coke around the house. I got, I got a feeling at the end of this, we, we could probably make an a- AMSR clip out of all this. All this is fry eating. <laughs> this is good, better, bad, bad. Eats french fries and drinks Coke. It's delicious. <laughs> Vanilla Coke. With no small amount of bourbon. <laughs> and, 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 of course, Skittles, which... Are produced by Wrigley? Uh, crinkle, I, I crinkle that paper, Kyle. Crinkle, yeah. that, crinkle that paper by the mic. Get, get in there. Crinkle it. Yes. Good. Perfect. Get off that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where they vacuum up the monster. Where are we at here? This, okay, we got this is a horrifying no, scene. Oh, horrifying. It's, uh, you know what? Also, I think this must be... What year did Ghostbusters come out? Like, 85? 84. 84? Mm-hmm. So this is also post-Ghostbusters, so, like, we're gonna have a scene where we vacuum up the monster, because, duh. Here, strap this vacuum cleaner on your back. We're gonna suck him up. How do they explain this, though? How do these kids know? He goes, get the, get the vacuum on, when he brings them thing mm-hmm. in. Why is he thinking he can vacuum up a living creature? <laughs> Because, what, what because the, the plot demands it. Yeah, or I was like, what was the thought process behind that by this kid? He's like, bring my mom's dust buster in here. We're going to vacuum up this raccoon. I'm like, what the fuck? Are, which, <laughs> which, okay, okay. If I was this kid's mother in this situation and she's like, or he's like, there's this little creature going around. And he's causing a whole bunch of chaos and mayhem and stuff. And we got him in a vacuum cleaner. Like, Did you just suck up a gerbil? What the fuck's going on? Yeah. So they vacuum it up. Matt goes crazy and starts rocketing her around the room. She looks like the fucking rocketeer on this motherfucker. <laughs> Flying around the room. And you can see the seams in the wall where, uh, cause she goes like up one wall across the ceiling and down the other wall. And you can see the seam in the wall where like the, the, the arm was coming through mm-hmm. to like attach to the backpack. You can see it. There's like a white seam all the way around. The- <laughs> it's like, great. Okay, don't even try to cover that up. I'm pretty fucking far from okay. Regardless of the fact that you can see the seam in the wall, like it's practical and it looks kind of cool. It's kind of terrifying. Like this little girl's like getting fucked up around the room by this goddamn vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna um, have diabetes by the end of this. Would somebody please tell me what is happening? He's in the vacuum. What? What are you talking about? Something I've been telling you about, the Mac. What? The mysterious alien creature. Oh, and then so they get it out of the machine. They reverse it. He shoots it out, dust everywhere. And he goes, it looks tired. Give it some Coca Cola. He looks tired. This is unreal. This is incredible, guys. This must be like what they drink on their own planet. And and it works. Yeah. Brings yeah. them right back. Yeah. Brings them right back into it. It's okay. Uh, also, uh, Mac understands what a newspaper is. He just and he can it. read. Um, so yeah, you can read a newspaper because sure, why not? Or pretend to read a newspaper. Uh, and then Mac cleans up the house mm-hmm. and leaves In behind record, record time. time overnight because apparently he's also magic. He cleaned up everything. Wow. But he also leaves behind a newspaper clippings of some mm-hmm. sort but with the horses and the Re- the billboard, yeah. like the, uh, yeah. an ad and, for and the company. He leaves flowers in straws. Yeah. Yes, which, yeah. That's important, kind of. Also, so Alan Silvestri scored this movie, which famously... Which, I'm, I'm, the score's good. The score's not bad. The score's the best part. Well, yeah, it's Alan Silvestri. Motherfucker scored Back to the Future and, like, a million other amazing films mm. um, with amazing scores. But, uh, which this is slightly reminiscent of Back to the Future at times. <laughs> A lot of times the score doesn't fit what's happening. At least sometimes. In this particular moment, there's like this beautiful, like magical score, and we cut to Max family dying Dying. of thirst (laughs) in the desert. (laughs) 
and the music does not that's remotely right match. There, the, right there, that's where you need to come in with like some sort of sting like, and boom, some sort of like maybe ominous. Ominous, yeah, like or like sad. But no, it's like... Wow! I feel good! Wait, <laughs> this doesn't make... This doesn't match at all. I'm trying to use a straw, but I can't get Coca-Cola out of the ground. Yeah, uh, it's so fucking... <laughs> that'd be a great moment there in the desert. They stick a straw on the ground and his oil comes out. They just light on fire and the movie ends. <laughs> Uh, but we actually, to be fair, they wouldn't die because we know fire does not harm yeah, them. Yeah, we'll find out later. Does nothing. Oh, and then so they uh, Mac or Eric and his mom go on a little jog, a little exercise run. Mac gets in an electric car, starts driving around the neighborhood after them, chased by a bunch of dogs. <laughs> Uh, again, the music here doesn't make sense. It's like this weird 80s ballad as it's like a workout montage mixed with like a hijinks Mac in a remote control car with doll. It's so fucking weird. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't go anywhere. He just ends up a in a tree with dogs chasing him in the scene. Ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, the music's like an 80s power ballad. I'm like, what? <laughs> Why is that the song right? Okay, fine, sure. He doesn't look so good. That drink. Uh, he comes back into Eric's house, and Eric shows up, and, mm -hmm. and Max hanging out, and this is like the scene in E.T. where E.T.'s hanging out, drinking beer, like watching TV. It's that same scene where he's drinking Coke, watching TV. Mm -hmm. um, and now all of a sudden the alien understands the intricacies of like human inter social interaction because he's like shaking his head and pointing and nodding and doing sign mm -hmm. language. And I'm like, where did any of this come from? Here, you want some? <laughs> it looks depressed or something. You have a family? Oh my gosh, there's three of three. So they gotta go to this birthday party though, but they don't wanna leave Mac there. Oh my gosh, that's my mom. What are we going to do? You, you'll have to go without me. She won't do that. She's supposed to be looking after you. We can't leave him here like this. They do the E.T. thing, and they put him in a costume. They just, they destroy... <laughs> a giant teddy bear. They destroy a giant, not just teddy bear, a Cubs memorabilia. Kind of old for a teddy, isn't he? He's from Illinois. Sorry, it took so long. That's okay. So they rip it all apart, and he comes out. Uh, Matt co or Eric comes out in his wheelchair with a giant teddy bear on his lap, mm -hmm. uh, and and the mom of the neighbor is there to pick him up and take him to this birthday party. And she's like oblivious. What? <laughs> yeah, she's like, what the fuck? And she's also oblivious to the fact that this bear is like crawling around at first. <laughs> Eventually, she realizes and she's like, is that bear moving? And they're like. Microchips. Keep still. Does please. your bear move? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's one of those new computerized kind. Yeah, <laughs> and she's no, like, that adds up. <laughs> yeah, that, that checks up. He just got new microchips. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and then, so the 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 FBI guys are already kind of alerted to this, and are follow or mm -hmm. NASA, whoever they are, whoever they're supposed to, um, are are following them to McDonald's. Which which, if if here's a question: Should Mac and me ever be re released in the future? Do you think we can digitally put in some walkie talkies? <laughs> they already did, really, or they already removed uh, a scene later, which we'll talk about. Oh boy! Do you know about this? No, I did a little research. Oh no. Is this gonna make my brain hurt? What? <laughs> what? 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 We'll talk about it very shortly. <laughs> I can't even face right now. I didn't think it would be cool. I don't know what <laughs> Um, so uh they roll up to McDonald's. And uh, there's a dance party in the parking lot, yes. as, as there always yes. was at McDonald's this in the was 80s the and most 90s. 80s thing what the fuck ever. was this?
So they roll up, there's an entire dance party in the parking lot going down, and they go inside McDonald's, the whole fucking inside of McDonald's turns into a goddamn dance party. Like, they party. move everything out, the entire floor is, like, spread yeah. out just and for this dance. And it's choreographed thing. dancing. It's not just, like, people having fun, because they say, like, dance competition or something, but it's, like, a whole dance troupe, like, all doing the same. And also, also, if it's a dance competition, that would seem like a, I don't know, semi-professional thing to a degree. Yeah. At some little girl's birthday party? At a McDonald's. I, dude, I don't know. This is in the movie so that McDonald's seems like the most happening of places. Like, that's what it is. Like, if you go to McDonald's, you're going to meet, you're going to meet, uh, what's his name? The fuck, uh, Ronald McDonald. Ronald McDonald, who's there well, in the Ronald movie. Ronald McDonald played by himself. Yeah, that was of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. And so the dance party kicks off and also all the clapping's out of beat always because fuck me as a drummer, they hate me. So they're like always the clapping's off beat. And then, oh my god, the, the we didn't talk about it specifically, but the Mac in the bear costume mm -hmm. is nightmare fuel. The fucking eyes, yes. like, staring yes. out of the bear eyes. And, and then it does the animatronic blink. Yeah, it's like, it's like Mac, what Mac. the <laughs> <laughs> Like, if anybody saw that, they would just be like, get your fucking bear out of here. I do not, no, don't want that at my birthday party. Uh, Corey, oh, the football players? Why the fuck yeah, are there football what, players? What the hell? What is Dan doing? Okay, what is going on? What's he doing? I don't know. Just me try and take you. Like, where are you guys moving? You know that nothing comes for free. It, it by itself, I don't understand how that hasn't, that scene hasn't like, permeated through popular culture. Like, I get the cliff scene, it's amazing. But the scene at McDonald's with the dancing and the football players, it's just nonsense. So then the feds somehow realize Max in the bear suit and start chasing him and they get him out of there. Well, everybody else bought that that was a toy. Yeah. The that, feds are like, oh no, clearly that's no, not a toy. No, that, yeah. <laughs> Fucking clearly. I was like, at least they're not idiots. And in the greatest chase scene <laughs> ever I love ensues. It. I love Eric and Mac rolling through fences. Just like. Yes, just destroying them. Yeah. Yeah, that was, all I could think of was like, you never taken a shortcut before. What's the matter, Danny? You never taken a shortcut before? <laughs> Bam! Right through the fucking fence! <laughs> <laughs> and then every time it cuts to a close up of Mac and he's just. It's like my favorite thing in this movie where. His like limp ass head and neck is just waggling back, waggling back and forth. It's incredible. And they also go through Sears, which is where the mom comes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, Mac is destroying all of the products yeah, there. Yeah, he just like touches shit and it starts exploding and going everywhere. I, I love how he like touches this, all the stuff around the door. All the TVs start exploding. You're like, no. oh, 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 he touches things and electricity stuff happens because that's what happened with the whatever the like the camera at the yeah, beginning the camera, and yeah. various other things yeah and then the doors lock and like that's mechanical uh, dude i don't whatever. Know. they don't care whatever fuck you that's and then they <laughs> break the door yeah they break the door to the store yeah they're like we gotta get out of here let's fucking break everything yeah they're the bad guys cal but not really they're just kind of fine at the end of the movie <laughs> there's like no they just like are fine with everything yeah, we're, we're, we're good we're good okay. yeah yeah all right, i guess we're good Of 
America. Uh, there's a great scene where they pick up Mac en route and Mac's rolling down the street and you can see the feds behind him pretending to run fast. Like they're, oh, we can't keep up with this kid in a wheelchair. Like, oh, there's, there's one particular fed who is like just really doing it in this three piece suit he's wearing. <laughs> he's like jumping over car, car yeah, hoods yeah. and like rolling over stuff. It's great. Yeah, but it's so clearly in the one shot right before uh, Eric gets pulled into the van, mm -hmm. you can tell that Eric's like wheeling at like five miles an hour and the feds are like, we're running as fast as we can. It's like. <laughs> Uh, they start. They get away in the van. They start driving, and they they're going to find Max's family. There, we get a, a real great bopper that is like a, a Casio keyboard and a sexy sax playing while they're yes, driving the through entire, the desert. Oh god, it's so good. Um, so they get to the desert, and they find the horses. They find the billboard, and they're like, "We're on the right track." And then they find. Fine. The windmills. Windmills, which is what the flower, uh, the flower and the, straws yeah. were. Which I saw that and I was like, that's yeah, it's kind of clever. clever. Yeah, that was kind of clever. Like, oh, that was an interesting idea. I like that. That was that was nice. And then uh, so they they realize, oh, they must be. He does a little thing. <laughs> that's not the right thing. Damn it. <laughs> So they find, he goes, oh, they're in the mine over there. They drive over to the mine. They get inside. And they are dead. They're they dead. are just dead they're in there. They're dead. But what do they have, Kyle? They got Coca-Cola. And this baby, this is life. Instant I regret. feel perfect. <laughs> So they get him coke and it literally brings them back to life. And I was like, boy, that is the best product placement I've ever seen yes. in a film. Yes. <laughs> Our product literally saves lives. And I'm like, okay, so now what are they going to do? They don't have a ship. They don't have any way to get back to Mars or whatever. Uh, we'll we'll get to what ultimately they do at the end here. It's, it's um, amazing. But so they get them back in the van and they're driving to. They're, I think at some point they're like, we should get them on the news. Like people want to help them or something. I, I, Look, maybe we should go public. If we can get them on the news, everyone is gonna want to help. They're basically like, we gotta keep moving so the feds don't find us. Basically, I mm -hmm. think is the idea. They end up at a gas station, grocery store type place. Uh, and they have to distract the aliens from eating the little girl by like singing songs and stuff. <laughs> like the one alien's like, I'm like, he's gonna eat that little Hansies, girl. I gotta get yeah. handsies. Yeah. Um, Hi, Tino, what's you doing now? I think he wants my bracelet. Well, then give it to him. You're hurting my me. My God. We'll do something. What? We're driving. You know. No. You can't do this when in a vehicle like this. Now you just cross your arms and don't unloose them until I tell you you can. And so they're like playing like Simon Says and shit, and they eventually stop to call somebody on the phone. And uh, the aliens get out and run away of the car. They run into, and it's one of my favorite moments. Like, just the shots of the aliens walking around are so silly. Yes. Like, I can't get over them. And they come wandering in, crotch first, Woo! into this room. Yeah, like. Yeah. All right, buddy. Just a promotional game. Yeah. All I can imagine is like into this grocery store, crotch first, because uh, they want some fucking coke. And there's a whole display of coke in this store. Mm. And so they walk over to the coke and they start uh, they start taking it. And there's they call security and blah blah blah. All this stuff happens. This is where things go completely goes off the rails. Bat shit goes fucking. They get bat security shit. there, and security, of course, has a gun. Yeah. Don't hurt them. They're not dangerous. They won't hurt you. All right. All right, now you put that down right now. They're not dangerous. Stay out of this. Now, put it down. Holds up the, the, the dad. Yeah. And the dad takes the gun and he's just like, what the fuck? Tell him to back off! No! Ah! Ah! Give me the gun. Wait, what I'm just going to carry this around. And he randomly shoots it. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is like what you can only imagine when you see them walking crotch first around everywhere with their arms swinging around. Like it's the most ridiculous fucking looking thing. Um, so he's like got the gun, and they they also bag up some coke and run. <laughs> like they they go they get groceries in a bag and carry them out of the store with them. I, I, could, I would only hope that that's where this stops. This movie stops, and then the sequel is to them on the on the lamb. Going to like store after store with the, with oh, the gun, gun holding them. <laughs> <laughs> they like they just and the entire thing's just them stealing, not even realizing what they're doing. He yeah. doesn't understand that the gun is like <laughs> what it is. He's just like when we go in places with this, they give us Coca Cola. It's, it's, it's like it's like currency. <laughs> yeah, that they don't that take. they don't take from us. It's amazing. Maybe it's like a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Um, <laughs> So they run out, and all the, all the cops show up instantly. Yes. Like, so many sheriffs and stuff show up instantly. Um, and Eric's like, let me go talk to him. I, they're not, they won't hurt you. Let me go talk to him. And he wheels himself towards them, and they're over by the van at, a, at the gas pumps. Yeah. <laughs> and so Eric rolls over there to go talk to him. There, I guess he, the, the, he shoots the gun more. Accidentally. And then everybody unloads. Everybody unloads. So many bullets. So many bullets. And the gas pumps explode. And we cut to a wide shot with a terribly composited in wheelchair. <laughs> it's like moving in the shot. I would have hoped that the wheelchair, or the, the, that, you know, Eric in the wheelchair would have been like, I don't know, on the ground or something yeah. like that. No, because. Here's the thing, Kyle. Here's, the, here's what actually happens in this scene. So, it's not the explosion that kills. Does Eric. he get wrecked by bolt? Does he get shot? Yes. Oh, uh, It's only. Yes. And it's Oh, it's only yes. and it's shown in the Japanese VHS version of this movie. One of the cops accidentally shoots Eric and kills him. That's the that's the scene. Yes! That's the yes! That's amazing. <laughs> They're sh- uh, apparently, it's like one of the cops trips and his gun accidentally goes off and shoots Eric. Now, I swear, even in the American version, it looks like it's edited in a way where one of the cops almost looks like he shoots and hits Eric, but it cuts really fast. I could be wrong. But supposedly, that's actually what happens, and they decided to change that to like, oh, the explosion kills him or whatever. Um, so Eric gets fucked up by this explosion, dead. Uh, he's laying on the ground and we watch the family cry for like 10 fucking I, I minutes. I love that the doctor comes in. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. He's, he's, yeah, he's dead. fucked. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. dead as shit. I'm... Get back. I'm a doctor. Get back. Doctor. Oh, it's going to be okay. He's gone. I don't know what you, I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> and so he, uh, he's dead. And they sit there and cry forever about it. And then the family fucking walks out of the flames like motherfucking like, yes. Khaleesi just this out of the flames. Horrifying. <laughs> it's like holy shit. It's amazing. Like, like you could you could take this scene, re rescore it yeah. with like strings and shit like that. It would be horrifying. <laughs> Yeah, it's incredible. Put like a John Carpenter theme yeah. on it. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, it's. <laughs> fucking amazing. They walk out of the flames, um, and nobody shoots at him this time, even though I guess he dropped the gun. I don't know. They got replaced with walkie talkies. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And he walks over, and uh, they, they, they make a, a prayer circle or whatever, and he, they all put their hands it on It looks and, like a seance. <laughs> and all, yeah. And also, for some reason, the feds brought the mom with them in the chopper. Yeah, that was really weird. I was like, why do they bring her? Okay. I guess, like, the idea is, like, they can, so she can talk negotiate, to the kids and negotiate. Like, yeah, yeah I, I guess that's the idea. But the, they, they, they all do, like, like a Ouija, yeah. like, over the kid. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he fucking wakes up. He's okay. Eric. That's it. 
Oh, I was hoping, oh, and I was really hoping that he'd be able to walk again. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. No, my favorite thing. I what, what I wished would have happened in this moment is the aliens would have walked out of the fire, super dramatic. They walk over to me like, oh my god, maybe they're gonna say no, 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 no. Well, yeah, but no, no, no. And they pull out a can of Coke and put a straw <laughs> and put it in his mouth. They're like, drink it. And they're like, drink it. And they're like, dumping Coke on this dead kid's face. And they're like, well, we tried. I don't know. That works for us. <laughs> This is what brings us back to life. Let's dump some coke. <laughs> or even better, if coke really wanted to send the message of their product home, they dump coke on his face and it brings them back to life. <laughs> this, this saved a kid's life. Now, it can't make him walk again, but it'll bring him back. Oh, God. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Okay. We gotta wrap this sucker yeah, up. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Let's do one more break here. All right. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention, because we didn't talk about it. There's a moment where a girl in a convertible pulls up next to their van, and they steal her Sprite, and the alien flips her off. I swear. So I will put it in the still frame. I swear, they cut back for a second, and there's a hand going back in like <laughs> this. Um, <laughs> you know what you gotta do with that, right? Give it a black and white chroma, uh, chroma and go, fuck life. So then we cut, we fade out, we fade back in, uh, and we get into a courtroom. Mm -hmm. And there's a judge standing at the front, and we, we camera pushes forward towards the judge. Mm -hmm. He's reading, and he's, oh, you're like listening, he's like, oh, he's reading the, um, like when you become a citizen. Uh, and the camera spins, <laughs> slowly spins around. This is the best. Oh, not only this. that, not only that, who are the people who showed up to this that, that we see coming into the courtroom to begin with? Well, like the feds and yeah, all. What yeah, what the fuck are they doing? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. And we'll, we'll talk more about that in a second. Um, so the camera spins around, slowly spins around. It gets to the end and the fucking family of aliens are standing there <laughs> wearing people clothes. And I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States of America when required by the law that I will perform non-combative service in the armed forces. <laughs> no, no, this was a part where I was like, oh, I guess they couldn't save, they couldn't fix his back. Yeah. They couldn't fix his legs. No, yeah, he's still in the wheelchair. And uh, of course, to get one more fucking McDonald's plug in there, the little the little Mac is wearing a McKidge t-shirt. I was like, fuck, great. And then uh, they just, that's just the end. They're citizens yep, now. Yep, and, and, and they're driving. And they're driving. He drives a pink Cadillac and then the movie ends I was like, what is happening? What? How is that? And then uh, Mac blows a bubble, and then the camera pulls up to a crane slash uh, helicopter shot, and uh, another <laughs> bubble, a CG <laughs> bubble, blows up and says, we'll be back. No, you won't. No. Mm -mm. Just like. <laughs> That's so terrible. I might cut that. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the end of the movie, Kyle. Um, that's Mac and me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I almost finished my Coke. This Coke is 75% bourbon. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going to give it a good bet. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is, it's, it's a classic. This is a classic. It is a classic for a reason. It uh, It's nonsense. The al I mean, literally just watching the aliens every time they come on screen is even when they're dying of thirst in the desert is mm. hysterical. Like yes. <laughs> it's just fucking hysterical. But it's uh it's rough, but it's glorious. Yes. And that kid wheelchairing off a cliff is That's all I got, so um, until next time. It's been glorious. Remember, remember to get your, your Skittles and your McDonald's and your your Coca Cola and and, and your Schlafly's. Yep, 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 yep. And and, and, mm, mm. and until next time, keep watching movies and don't sell yourself out to the man. Okay. Don't ever do that. Don't, don't, don't do that.
It's really bad. It's already gone. It's really bad, yeah.